hey, I wanted to come and share some really interesting conversations that I've had over the past week about operations and systems. And when you know that it's time to bring those things into your business. So if you've been following my videos for a little while, you know that I worked with mostly established seven figure businesses with team and operations and systems in place. Uh, maybe not running at optimum level, and some actually have very little systems, but this particular tip is actually really important for our businesses, businesses at any level. So when you look at your business in terms of systems and operations, systems and operations create leverage. They help people to work more efficiently, they help profitability to increase, and theoretically, they should stop manual friction. One of the biggest mistakes that I see businesses make, especially newer businesses, is putting in operation systems in too soon. So what I mean is when you're starting a business, the first thing that you should be focused on is sales and profitability, not operations and systems. And the reason for this, and this may be counterintuitive to what other people have said, <laughs> I mean, I, I go against the grain in a lot of things, and I think most of you know that uh, my job is to make you uncomfortable and help you break out of your comfort zone and your business's comfort zone. But if you're putting in systems and operations before you really have flow and flow of revenue, flow of customers, you know, that first hundred, um, then you're probably going to spend a lot of time and money on systems and operations that maybe you don't need yet, aren't relevant, etc. And the reason I bring this up is I see so many businesses who spend an exorbitant amount of money on technology when they're starting up when really they don't need it. Unfortunately, yes, there is a lot of manual <laughs> labor that can go into starting a business and even seven-figure businesses. But until you have that steady, predictable flow of customers, of revenue, of um, repeat money, it's really, really hard to determine what systems and operations you need that are going to benefit you the most, that are going to give you a good ROTI and an ROI. So if you're sitting there and you're rebuilding your business and thinking, gosh, you know what, we should have this or that or that, write all those things down and then ask yourself if you have enough data to justify the investment in time and money. And data are things like... Um, you know, anything from revenue to customers to close rate to team time, all of the things. Um, hi, Sue, good to see you. Um, and so if you, if you focus on the flow of your business and what you're trying to create and alleviate and, you know, take out the manual stuff, then you can have a better picture and make smart decisions because you don't have to have things all at once. Sometimes you just need that one thing at the right time that will help you create leverage and flow and help you really get the momentum that you're trying to, to get. I see a lot of companies take on too much technology, too many systems, too many operations at once. And sometimes that actually bogs down the team because there's so much adoption and getting up to speed on too many things. Whereas it's much better to have a rolled out kind of prioritized um, impact it's not the right word I'm looking for, but hopefully you understand what I'm saying. Um, so when you're looking at systems and operation, look at where your end goal is. Again, you're going to hear, this is my soapbox, my TED Talk. You got to know where your business is, where you want it to be in three years, what the team is, what the revenue is, what the customer base is, what the model is, all of those things, because if you don't, then you run the risk of plugging in operations and systems and technologies that don't actually support your long-term growth and are really more of duct tape things. And again, that goes back to time and, um, and money that can be wasted and better spent in a different way. So if you're sitting there saying, gosh, I'd really like to add systems and operations to my business, awesome. Think about it and think about it from a long-term view. Make sure that you have the flow of revenue, of customers, of data to justify putting those systems and operations in there. Because if you have 
too much leverage and not enough value, not enough revenue, then your profitability is just going to tank. And obviously what I help my businesses do, my clients do, is not keep profits or revenue and expenses at the same place. And Because a lot of times what happens is revenue goes up, expenses go up. Revenue goes up, expenses goes up. What we want to do and what I help my clients do is revenue keeps going up, and expenses either slowly increase or stay the same. And a lot of that comes from the right leverage of people and process and product, and that is systems and operations. But you wanna make sure that you're doing it strategically in the right order at the right time because a good strategy at the wrong time is still a bad strategy. So again, if you're sitting there thinking it's time, maybe you wanna do it, Ask yourself if it's really time and if it's going to have the ROTI and the ROI that you really want. I hope that was helpful. Comment below if you have questions, if you're listening to the replay. I'd love to hear your thoughts and if you have encountered this too. I'll see you guys next week.